Hi, Paul here from Photogenius. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the Photogenius Photography Challenge number 20. Keep watching if you want to learn how to get more from your camera and take better photos. With every challenge we have a different theme or a different subject and in the video I give you tips on how to tackle the subject and complete the challenge. Past challenges have included night photography, portrait photography, black and white photography, composition, painting with light and many many more. If you want to check out the past challenges just click on the link up here. This challenge is brought to you by Skillshare who have kindly sponsored this video. Now for this month's challenge you may complete it in a day. You may take a few days to complete the challenge and possibly even a few weeks and that's because to complete the challenge I'm not asking for just one single image. I'm asking for a series of images. So this month, I'm asking you to create a photo essay. Now, a photo essay is probably best described as a means of visual storytelling, a series of images that when viewed together as a whole, tell a story. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm having a go at this one as well. I'm actually gonna be doing a day in the life and I'm documenting my day today. And at the end of this video, I'll show you my photo essay. Choosing a theme or topic for your photo essay is entirely up to you. You could document an event like a birthday or special occasion. You could show the relationship between a child and their pet. Maybe take a fly on the wall approach and show your journey to and from work, capturing the sights, people and things you pass every single day. Now I want to give you some tips for completing this month's challenge. Tip number one is don't rush choosing a theme. Choose something you're comfortable with and you can work with and there's no rush to complete this challenge. Number two, overshoot. You really can't take too many images. The trick may be choosing which ones to keep and which ones to dump. Use techniques learned in other challenges. For my challenge, you will see I've incorporated movement, depth of field, silhouettes and composition into the images, all previous challenge themes. Lastly, have fun. And for inspiration, I've included a link below to the Photo Collective Stories website featuring some amazing work. Now, of course, the images alone may be enough to tell the story, but if you want to add captions to the images as well, that is fine. I think what's really cool about this month's challenge is you're not just gonna be thinking about the technicalities of taking every individual image. You're also gonna be giving some real thought to the subject and the storytelling. In fact, I think you need to approach this a bit like a photojournalist. Now, if you're a regular viewer to my channel or you've taken part in previous challenges, you will know that there's a different hashtag for every single challenge. This month's hashtag is PhotoGenius20. Please use the hashtag if you're sharing your images to social media so that I and others can see them. I've also got a free to join Facebook group set up where you can join for free and also post your images if you wish and get some feedback. I'll put a link in the description below this video. Now, before I give you an insight into my day and show you my photo essay, I just want to mention a very, very special offer from our video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators and creative minds. In fact, anyone wanting to learn new skills. With thousands of inspirational classes on offer with topics that include photography, design, illustration, video, web design and much, much more. Now I'm a big fan of the MKBHD channel here on YouTube. So this week I've been enjoying YouTube tips from Marcus Brownlee of MKBHD. Skillshare is a fun and informative way to learn and develop new skills with no ads and all for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But Skillshare have a very special offer for fans and viewers of this channel. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the video description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. As a member, you will have unlimited access to thousands of inspiring online classes and even feedback from a community of millions. So if like me, you're a creative mind and you want to improve on your creative skills, try something brand new or build on your existing passions. All you need to do is click on the link below this video and remember the first 1000 people who do will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. 
A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for supporting the Photo Genius channel. So as promised, here is my photo essay, all images captured by myself today during the actual recording of this very video. So this big box just arrived. This is from Canon Australia. Some really cool gear to test and review for the channel. I'm really looking forward to testing this out. There's a full moon over the bay this evening, so I'm hoping to get out later on and try them out. Unfortunately, things don't always go as planned. So Dr. Young will go into more detail about these particular cases. But what this means for Greater Brisbane is that we will have to go into a three-day lockdown. This is the UK strain. It is highly infectious. Now, um, we, can, uh, we need to do this now to avoid a longer lockdown. And that lockdown will commence at 5 p.m. this afternoon. So I hope you're feeling inspired to join in with this month's photography challenge. If not, there's another 19 to choose from. You can check those out by using the link in the description below. I want to say a big thank you to Skillshare for making this video possible and for you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, then it really helps the channel if you give it a thumbs up. I put out new videos every single week. So if you don't want to miss out, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to say hi or leave a comment, you can do so down below. Hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.